hey guys welcome back sarip this side and in today's video we are going to talk about premiere pro 2022 new updation for new project so if we click on new project so we will see a new interface just like this and this is very confusing for you and guys this was very confusing for me when i opened my premiere pro first time i was about to edit a video five minute video and it took me one hour to take a new project so basically in a simple way i'm going to show you how to create a new project in this premiere pro interface new interface and i'm going to show you a simple way a easy way to create a new project in premiere pro 2022 we don't have to follow this new updation so watch the whole video so first of all i'll tell you how to take a new project in this new interface so when you clicked on new project so you will see this interface so first of all as old version you have to give here the name and then you have to choose your file location where you want to save this project if you go to your drive where you have saved your e media so you just have to go to drive and first of all your premium pro will be like this all the folder will be selected like this blue highlighted this thing so what you have to do you have to just you have to first of all you have to deselect these folders because you can see 99 plus 1000 folder is there 1000 plus files are there so this because of this your system might be crashing might be lagging so what you have to do just you can't do like this selecting one by one you don't have to do like this so there is a shortcut to deselect these folders press Control shift a to deselect so these whole folder deselected and now you have to go to the folder where you have your media so in here i have a folder named peanut butter so i'll type here yeah peanut so it will show here so just make sure where you are typing that folder is there so here it is peanut butter and now in this folder i have so many videos but it's not showing here why because of this text so you just have to clear this search box from here then you will see the videos and format or all the images and then you have to click on this a uh, video to select just have to drag your mouse i don't have mouse right now you can select by dragging um, by your mouse or you can select one by one like this yeah like this then you can create but first of all i'll show you these settings copy media we don't use new bin we don't use create new sequence yeah this might be helpful for you but this is not helpful for me uh, like you can create a new sequence from this clip itself but like checking you can check on this button and you can name the sequence but i don't know this will be helpful or not so just unchecked you can click on that and just create yeah so here you will see your video now you can right click here and you can choose new sequence from clip so i have a, another video which have best sequence settings so i can import that video here and just right click on that and new sequence i can take a sequence settings from that video so that's why i didn't took that checkbox new sequence so might be you're thinking this uh, step this new updation is a bit slow but you can just avoid that updation how to avoid so just you have to like like this so what you have to do you have to just come to your any old premiere pro project so like 10 days ago i was working on a project so which called gd or sysm gd and there you can see premiere pro project so this project is uh, like older than 10 days ago so i can just open it so here is my project and what you have to do here now 
you have to just copy this project so you have to go to file and click on this save as and you can choose your location for your media files like peanut butter so this project is called peanut butter so I can give here the name peanut butter and click on this say enter now you are here we will see this name is changed peanut butter so we can delete these files right now and we can import the files from directly like here we can drag this file into Premiere Pro yeah and we can use settings so right now we don't have to go to this home this new project this whole thing we can avoid by that step so i think that is the best way for this new operation so that's it i hope you got the idea for this new operation and how to avoid this new update so if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and also subscribe and share with your friends who is facing issues with this new update i'll meet you in the next video thank you